Hi everybody, it's Amy. I'm the occupational therapist here at Eisenhower School. And I'm first gonna just give you a review of my room. So th this is my classroom. When the kids walk in, this is what they see. Um, over here, we have a swing, which I have two different types of swing. I have a platform swing and I have a bolster swing that goes up. Um, we have a big wedge. We have the giant top that the kids can sit in and spin. I have scooters back there and I have trampolines. I have two. Um, the kids get, get a specified one if they come in with a, a buddy and then that way we can keep our germs to ourselves. And I have a large ball and lots of mats. You see I have lots of mats and this is the table where we do our work at. Um, when they arrive, usually they sit down at the table. They would do something organized. It may be a worksheet, like an alphabet page, or it might be something that's more self-care, button snaps or zippers, or it may be manipulatives, which would be like beading, um, puzzles, pegs, something that they will persist to for completing something before they earn something in the room. That's most kids. Occasionally I have a kid who does best if they start with jumping on the trampoline, but I individualize that to your child. So depending on your child, that's how that works. Um, the, so usually they would sit down, do something fun, sit down, do something fun. What that teaches them is to slow their bodies down and to speed their bodies back up. So that way when they're doing things um, in the classroom, they learn how to calm their body down. Um, in here, of course, there's lots of supports. I, I teach them how to do it. And actually I do, do, when I go into my classroom groups is where I actually show the teachers Yes, these kids can do that. These kids don't need hand over hand for things. These kids can do things for themselves. The focus in occupational therapy is self-care, fine motor, gross motor, sensory, fine motor, gross motor, sensory, and perceptual, visual perceptual. Um, usually vision, visual perceptual for the, um, people who have autism is very strong. So usually that's a strength that I use with my students. Um, often we'll do things with a puzzle where they have to move the pieces of the puzzle across the room, but they might have to do it on the scooter or do it in an obstacle course so that they have to learn in their brain how to motor plan more than one task at a time. Um, these type of things are the things that get kids stuck in the classroom. Say they have to go sharpen their pencil or they have to um, go put something on the table in the back room, but something gets in their way. How do they negotiate around it? So we practice that through practicing and on obstacle courses and also doing just activities that are fun. They find these things fun. They think they're, they're playing, but really they're, they're learning as they do that. Um, I use a lot of positive play in my interactions with them. Um, it's a floor time technique where I am working with the kids um, on them staying engaged and, and interacting with me. So I do a lot of repetition in the beginning, so they may play similar things over and over and over again in the beginning. And then we start adding little changes in there so that they can actually um, learn how to move beyond the repetitive actions. Um, I have a bunch of toys. This is my table thing of toys. I have animals and puzzles and different blocks that they can stack and different um, perceptual things and things with letters and Legos. Um, and they always get the opportunity to play um, if they request it. And, and I really try to work with them on learning how to request some of those play activities. And then we play silly together. I do a lot of silly. so. Um, if they ever come home and say, Miss Amy's so silly, it's the truth. I am very silly. Um, if you ever want to contact me, I am more than welcome to being contacted all the time. My email address is a 
Gunzel, G-U-A-G-U-E-N-Z-E-L, at pway.org. Um, I will also send home a little paper with your teachers, and we'll also um, be here tomorrow at Back to School Night. If you would like to come and meet with me, I would love to meet with you. So um, I hope you have a great day, and I'm looking forward to really good success from all your kids this year. Thanks. Bye-bye.